Today I'm looking at Dragon Professional Individual. I have done a video prior to this and it's on the basics correcting and dictating within Dragon Professional Individual. But today I'm going to look at the commands option. Now it's very powerful in Dragon Dictate 4 as well and I've left the option in which is great because you can create commands for certain applications or to help with your workflow. So with further ado let's get straight into it. So to access your commands window you need you can either say wake up and then say show commands or you can select the dragon icon at the top and tap show commands there as well. Now I'm going to maximize the window so we can see it better. So see we've got some applications here already all down to the left. These are already there for you when you install dragon but we can add different applications. You might want to use Photoshop and have commands for Photoshop. So there's no limit for what you can do with this. And any commands you can't access, then you could go into scripting if you could at scripting as well. But we'll look at the basics today and see if we can get you up and running. So for example, I'm going to click on Word. That's the context I'm going to use. And then I can create a command here. Now say I want to add a command randomly, date and time. So every time I say date and time, it will bring up the date and time for me to add within a document. Then I can now add it by selecting Microsoft Word. Select the plus button. And at the top, you need to add in the command you want. So I'm just going to put date and time. You can put insert date and time or open date and time. But I'm going to leave it as that. And then you can add description, which is optional. The actual spoken command actually says what it is anyway, so I don't need that. Now, context, I'm using Microsoft Word. I need to choose how I'm going to access that. Now, we've got a few options here. So we've got menu item. So if I select that, it's going to open up Word and access the menu item in Word through this and then I can choose which option I want. But sometimes you don't always find the option you want there. So that way you could use a combination of keystrokes and add them in as well. If you're into scripting, then you can use the Apple script, which is a language used to automate the actions of Macintosh operating system and a lot of its applications. Automated workflow you can use, which helps with the workflow with doing things with on your Mac. You've got a built-in program in that on your Mac already as well. You can bookmark, so open up websites. You can access specific files or folders. So say that folders are all on your desktop, then you can just say open a specific folder, for example business, it opens the folder for you to access quickly. You can open up any application, you can say open Photoshop, open calendar, and that will open it up for you. Shell script is another scripting option, it's a powerful program method that can help you save time and it also banishes tedious file management tasks. So what I'm going to do today is select a menu item. So now I'm selecting a menu item of Word and I want it to open date and time but I need to find it. So now you select a menu item. Now I believe it's an insert. If I go along the insert of Word I can now access date and time. Now you can use any spoken form you want but try and use spoken forms that are simple so they don't get too complicated. Now I'm done. I can just click save takes a second or two to save. Now we're going to try that out and see if it works. Wake up. Open Microsoft Word. Press enter. Date and time. Go to sleep. And you can see how easy that is. So you can have various commands if you want to help you with your workflow. So I want to go back and if I go to Microsoft Word you can see there it is. If you just want to see the commands you've added, select top right all and select user. Choose your context and there's the commands that have been added. So you can see your own commands you've added as well. So you don't forget them. Now I'm going to select top left commands again. And I want to come out of user because it's only showing me global Microsoft Word. Top right again and I want to see all. So I can see all the context. Say I want to use another application and I want to add a command for it. Well, we can do that as well. Let's just say, for argument's sake, iTunes. But I've got iTunes option in there to create a command for whatever. Not a problem. Click plus, and it brings that window open again. I'll go back to the command, because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do in iTunes yet. Now, the context here is not in a list, is it? And we know that. So we select choose to the right. And there it is. And select open. Now I've got the context I need to use and now I can create a command. So I'm going to select choose. I'm going to do menu item again. Select the menu of iTunes. And it says here select a menu item. So now I can go into iTunes menu. 
I want something simple, so I'm going to go to controls. Let's have play. So I'll just say play and it will play. So I'm just going to put play. So I've got the command play. I could add a description if I want. Context, I'm going to use it as iTunes. I've accessed the menu item, and then every time I say play, it should play back for me without touching anything. So I'm going to click save. Now come to the left, I've now got iTunes in there as one of my programs. So now I can keep adding commands to them. So you can do that with Photoshop or any applications you want. So should we try that out? Wake up. Open iTunes. Play. What would you do to get to me? What would you say to have your way? Would you give up or try again if I hesitate? It's probably worth me creating the commands as well to stop or pause. But you can see how that works and how efficient that can be by adding commands. So I'm going to close iTunes. So I'm going to go back to Microsoft Word. I'm going to create another command for Microsoft Word. So I'm going to click plus again because that's the context I'm using. But I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. But this time I'm still in Microsoft Word. I'm going to choose what type. I might use keystroke. So with this you can have specific keystrokes. Now I can use many keystrokes, so I'm going to use a simple keystroke to highlight all, which is Command A on the Mac. So click plus. You can change the letter there, depending on what you're doing. You might use C, V or P if you're printing. So I'm going to use A. I'm not going to use a special character, I'm just going to use Command. So there's my Command. Command A. Now, remember you've got to give it a spoken phrase. So I'll say... Just highlight. I'll keep it simple. Now I've created my keystroke. Click save. So we see if that works in Word. Wake up. Open Microsoft Word. Press enter. Switch to spell mode. Equal sign. Romeo, Alpha, November, Delta. Open bracket. Close bracket. Press enter. Highlight go to sleep. See how powerful that was? So you can create simple commands for any application. Obviously that's just a simple command but you can use the keystrokes any way you want in any combination. Wake up. Quit Microsoft Word. Press don't save. Go to sleep. Now say you want to add websites as well. Now when you add websites you don't want it specifically to Safari or Firefox or Google. You want it globally. The reason is, if I click on global, any command you add there will work in any application and anywhere. So you've got to weigh out what you want to do. You might want it specific, bespoke, or there again you might not. So you've got to choose exactly what you want. So Microsoft Word, I suppose I could have used the highlight option anywhere, but Dragon's got select all anyway built in, so it doesn't make much difference. So I'm going to go to global, and we're going to add a website. So again we click plus. And then we can add one in there. So what shall I have? I'll just keep it simple. I'll just put open Google. Give it a description if you want. So this command is going to work globally. But then I need to select type. Now this is a bookmark for a website. So I select bookmark. And then I paste the website in there. And click save. So that should now work globally whenever I say open Google. Wake up. Open Google. Go to sleep. And that's how you add bookmarks to websites quickly. Really simple option. And remember, if you ever get stuck, click back to your commands window and select users and it'll show you all your user commands. So how about if you want to open a file or folder? Easy to do. Again, you can choose whether you want it to be globally. Maybe you would. Maybe you just work in Word and you want to bring up a folder with your Word documents in it. Or maybe you just want to bring that folder everywhere. So shall I do globally again? Click plus. And this time in the menu I'm going to choose type file or folder. And all you do is click choose target. I'll just use Adobe folder as an example and select target. And again give it command. Open Adobe. It's going to work globally everywhere. 
it's going to open a file or folder so if I went into that folder I could have chose a specific file and said open Adobe file whatever command you want and click save wake up open Adobe go to sleep so again you see how powerful that is of adding different commands to do different things and last of all say you want to open up a new application and you say it doesn't work well we can do that by adding it globally click plus let's choose an application first it's going to work globally select choose and I'm going to choose application select this doctor select it and remember to give it a command So I've got open this doctor, it's going to work globally anywhere and the application is going to open this disk doctor. Click save. Wake up. Open this doctor. Go to sleep. So remember to use the command option there because a lot of people don't use it. It's so easy to use and it'll help you with your workflow and personalising stuff to open them up quicker and access stuff. Last of all, I'm going to come back down here and go to Microsoft Word. If you don't want a command, just highlight it, come to the settings option and select delete. Or if you need to re-edit it, select edit, then you can edit your options there and change it if you need to. Also, if you've been using Dragon Dictate 5, you can export the commands out of there and import them into here by selecting. Or you might want to export them out, which is easy to do as well. Also, if you're looking for any commands, you can always type them in there to help you look. It's a good place to go anyway for various commands. I hope that was a help. Thanks for watching.